Hello, my name is Nathaniel Botter with Gettysburg National Military Park, and today we're going to talk about the Civil War Bugle. In a camp of a thousand soldiers or in the midst of a battle, it can be hard to hear the voice of one officer, but the notes of a bugle can be heard up to a mile away. Their tones echoing above the sound of battle make it the perfect instrument to send messages during the Civil War. The music of buglers was not only necessary in telling the time of camp duties, but also for guiding the movements of troops in battle. A Civil War soldier would need to know these bugle calls like the back of their hand and be ready to perform the tasks that were assigned to them. Do you think you can learn a bugle call as fast as a Civil War soldier? We'll start off with an easy one that you might have heard before. Civil War soldiers, those men in their tents, would listen for this bugle call. That bugle call, sick call, would tell the soldiers that were not feeling too well to go and see the camp surgeon. These camp calls were easy for soldiers to learn, but more importantly, soldiers had to know battlefield commands and be able to execute them at a moment's notice. One example goes a little like this. Do you know that bugle call? Probably not. But to the ears of a Civil War soldier, the call for fixed bayonets was a well-known tune. They would tell the soldiers to fix their bayonets onto the rifles and prepare for battle. Another very important bugle call that could save a soldier's life was that of retreat, which sounded like this. That would tell the soldiers to fall back in the face of the enemy. There are many bugle calls a Civil War soldier would need to know. And you can imagine it would be a little confusing at first, but for these Civil War soldiers, the sound of the bugle would be a well-known memory. The next time you imagine a Civil War battle, the sights, the sounds, and the smells, don't forget to listen to the call of a bugle. I hope you have all enjoyed learning a little something about the Civil War bugle today, and I hope you're all staying safe. We'll see you next time here at Gettysburg National Military Park.